Hi, this is Fix My Fibro and my name's Bernadette. So today I want to talk about the concept of health. And health is what we medically or scientifically call a homeostatic balance. And homeostasis, home, H-O-M-E-O-S-T-A-S-I-S, homeostasis, is the medical term for your body working in proper balance. So you know when you get a blood test, they give you a sheet of paper with the results, and each of the things that they're testing in the blood test has a range next to it. And if you're out of that range, that's considered illness or disease because it might mean that you're deficient in something or it might show that you've got too much of something, like too much iron in your blood, and then that is a diagnosable illness. Or, you know, it can show that you need to then take supplements to get your body back into that homeostatic balance. And the thing is with fibromyalgia, we're not in a homeostatic balance. So that's why we have a state of disease. And that disease, in part, is to do with these low enzyme levels that aren't on any blood test. There are some genetic tests that are now done in genetics research laboratories. It's only been published in the last year or two that they've found that fibromyalgia patients have a very low, medium to very low levels. Depending on your genetics, there are four gene variants that are seen in one gene that are just, these variants occur naturally. They're called SNPs. Um, and these or, or SNPs, you can call them, these, you know, these SNPs, these polymorphisms for short, um, short nucleotide polymorphisms, they, those little changes are just the variation that we have in our bodies. Everyone has them genetically. That's what they look at when they do genetic profiling or when they're looking to see if you're related to someone. They look at these SNPs. They're a genetic little, you know, little short, little short section of genetic material and then they compare it to either someone like like someone in your family or to something that's considered normal like a normal gene with a normal function and a normal expression and enzyme production in the instance of this DAO enzyme. So what happens when we don't have a homeostatic balance is that we have massive symptoms because our body is not functioning normal. Just like a diabetic that doesn't produce enough insulin, if they have too much sugar, they can then end up having really serious symptoms and go into a diabetic coma. Just like having not enough glucose, it can put you in a hypoglycemic at too low levels of sugar and make you pass out and die because you know your brain needs sugar. It's the only form of energy that the brain uses is glucose or um you know, is carbon, you know, is the is the basic building blocks, the basic sugars. So the issue is our bodies aren't in a homeostatic balance, and that's why we have such severe symptoms. So this is why supplementation with the DAO enzyme is needed. You don't need to see a doctor for it, you can just go buy it online. There's several companies in Europe that manufacture it and they'll ship it anywhere in the world. So taking that enzyme will then mean that you can then process histamines better in your body. But it's also an issue of the underlying illness that we have on top of these genetic variations that are probably inherited. You know, the, the other issue is this mast cell activation syndrome where our mast cells just readily pop open and then release more histamine and cytokines and a whole lot of other, you know, nasty things. Sorry, if you heard a little horse running by, my cat just did a little spastic run past. Um, so homeostatic balance is really important. And until you modify things in your diet and take enzyme and supplements to try and help cause the body to be working more in its normal functioning range, 
you won't feel better. That's basically the crust of it. So that part of the illness, all the histamine, the um, you know, the mast cell activation, that's one part of the illness in fibromyalgia and that's similar in chronic fatigue syndrome. That's that part of the illness. In fibromyalgia, the extra pain that we get, the crampy pain, all of those sort of things is relating to a purine problem, P-U-R-I-N-E, and I've done lots of other videos on that. Go back and have a watch of those. And that also needs to be back into a homeostatic balance. And the only way to do it, I've found, is to eat a low purine diet and manage the gouty aspects of that pain part of that illness. So I'm not going to go into that in this video, but that's talking about what health is. We're not in a state of health because we have two underlying really nasty diseases, neither of which can be seen on a blood test and neither of which are being treated or managed by your doctors and specialists because they in themselves don't actually understand the complexity and the nuances of it.